Hey guys, I hope you're good. This is Max from MHS Pod, and today we will see some cool stuff. We've made with Ivan Fuzzy this really nice uh, opening for the Yamag Masterclass happening in Paris. I will let the Beyoncé link inside the description of the video so you will be able to watch our trailer. Today we will focus on one element, the badass alien plant that you can see everywhere in the city. You can watch all the breakdown. I hope you will learn some cool stuff about C4D, Octane and process. And on this video, we will focus on make these bad babies. I will show you today the process that we find with Sylvain uh, to grow spline on your face. To have your base uh, shape into C4D, scale it a bit into ZBrush and send it back in, inside Cinema 4D. By the way, you can animate all these plants. So I will show you a few tricks and I hope you will like it. Uh, if you want, uh, feel free to let us a nice like on the project um, because every support is welcome. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to join our Facebook group Motion Designers Community and our Discord because you will find a lot of cool guys. You can share your work, you can talk with people and meet great people there. This is a real community and that's what I love. I'm French, so I try my best to do uh, now English tutorials. You have the content language in the up right of the video. But I apologize if I make few mistakes. Basically, uh, all the content is in French, but more and more people asked us to do English videos. So I try my best and hope <laughs> you enjoy it. So let's go and check what we're going to use today. We're going to use the plugin called Ivy Grower. This is a free a free plugin and I will disable my head because that's okay I've made the intro and you can generate splines and stuff I will not show how it works today I will show the process so let's go and double click on our mesh and you will have this uh, yellow dot you can basically uh, grow uh, splines and branches on every surface you can also use um, X-Particle if you have it. Uh, this process is also possible. And I will click on this button and as you will see, I will have nice shapes. It's kind of flat there because I'm working on a simple plan. But if you watch the breakdown, I've used the, ah, I've used the plugin directly on the, the surface of the buildings so it, it just grows and go inside the building so that's cool okay right now i'm happy let's oh I, I you can change parameters and i will untick this and tick create branches extrusion and create generate okay Right now, I have this uh, ugly stuff. I can change my spline to something like B spline. You can subdivide it to have something smoother. Yes, I'm happy. And I will select my inside and put it inside, and that's horrible. Okay. And I play till I have something that I like. This is looking kind of good. Let's go into all nerves and change the scale. So I can make really nice custom shapes. Woo! When I'm happy with it, I will uh, convert it into an object. Select and I will have only one object. I will rename it because ZBrush don't like um, the accent. Probably because we are French and the world don't like French. 
But if you go to Paris, you understand why the world don't like French. And now I will use the gauze um, to send my mesh inside the brush. As we are on tutorials, we have a few possibilities that I have failed. I never had a fail except um, two or three times on the process. And we've done um, master classes without problem. But here, I feel that we can have a problem. Wait a second. Oh, that's okay. No problem. Okay. And now I'm doing this. Click to edit. And now I will go into geometry and I will use the Dina mesh. And it's geometry, Dina mesh. And I will set uh, eye size. Click Dina mesh. That's probably a two eye size. No, um, let's play with a bigger resolution. The, the process is just like uh, very badass. <laughs> I just don't care about polygons. And now I'm able to play with my brush. I like the inflate brush. You can inflate some parts. Okay, make this and Dynamesh the thing, stuff, smooth things, inflate, big things. If I'm not happy with this, I can select this. Okay. Under uh, modify topology, delete hidden, Dynamesh, and it will close the hole few tricks I can have my max size on the brush inflate and all the the size will inflate okay you just need to, to play and I use the chisel brush chisel creature and you have this nice nose and you can download chisels or create your own chisels but there I've just used my this and I liked it. Uh, well, you, you just need to have a nice shape of uh, something strange, an alien plant. Okay, you can play again with it, you can customize, you can make air, a lot of things, but we needed to produce a lot of elements. So, as soon as you're happy with it, and I don't want UVs on it, so I can go to Z plugin. Decimation master, freeze border, pre-process current. It will pre-analyze my mesh, and I want uh, a low poly count because uh, we worked with octane. And the lower amount of polygons you have, the better it is. So I can try like two percent. Click on decimate current, and okay. My mesh is still nice for mid distance and I have less point. Click back on goals and I have my final mesh. And now I have a superb alien plant. Whoa, I will like it. Last thing, you can animate it with a fun noise inside. You can also, we try, we, we've tried uh, several things. We tried uh, pose morph. Pose morph is nice. If you keep the same amount of points, you can move a few part of the plant and it, it will move. But for the final trailer, we just want to have um, like, uh, Few movement like uh, not not really moving. You will have an alien plant shot right there. Okay, just moving a bit slow slowly like like this. Only like if it's pressing, no nothing too complicated. We just used the um, uh, displacer displacer inside my mesh. Load the noise. Ah, oh, load the noise. <laughs> That's horrible. 
uh, play with the noise option, play with contrast, play with luminosity, and basically do your, your stuff and you can animate this. So play with uh, animation till you till you have something you, you like. Okay, okay. Just see how fast it's moving. It moves too fast. Just play. Oh, okay. I'm loving it. Objects. Just playing with different values and okay. We have something moving. Um, I should have a bit more thickness, like um, in the project they are pretty big and for my example I have just uh, choose um, two small parts, but that's okay, it's moving. Or you can play with uh, higher intensities You can, and you can have a different type of uh, fall off so if you want just uh, the core moving or play with a uh, fall off you can do this kind of stuff to animate your uh, alien plants so it was the process i hope you guys uh, learned something and hope you will generate fun things with our uh, RED uh, process we find uh, fun shapes with um, with X particle too I can check into my files if I still have it mm. I'm looking I'm looking to it plants screenshot Sorry for the, the, the improvisation. Okay. I mean it. I think I have few other tests right there. Okay. I had this uh, big bad plant made with an XP system. Okay. We had another test of alien structure uh, growing with. Um, X particle. This one is pretty nice. I love the shape. So okay, I've, I've, you need to let it grow. <laughs> um, it was kind of fun to do this. Uh, okay, another structure test, but this one was uh, pure shit. Another test of uh, growing structures and that can be alien plants oh we have these bad guys i remember they they were moving but no and of course um it was made with uh, octane materials uh, but we didn't use the, it was just part of the uh, research. Oh, we have also these bad, these bad guys. Okay. So many, many tests were done, but we just end up with the these bad, these bad plants. Okay. Hope you guys have learned some uh, cool things and hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Uh, it was uh, not prepared, but I hope you learn fun things. Feel free to watch the full trailer, leave a thumb up to support us, check out the, um, the making of, see how amazing the material work uh, made by Yvon uh, was. All the street elements prepared by Sylvain. Um, you have a global idea of all the work and 
thank you guys for watching thank you for for joining the community and see you next time